right, so today I have this very cool expandable garden hose. You can see here we have the hanger that it's hanging on. It's hanging here in our garage wall. Um, but this is included with the kit that you get. Uh, it comes off of this really easy. It's got a nice handle to hold on to it and carry it around the yard. Uh -huh. But one of the things that I really like about this, first of all, this hose, when it's full of water, expands out to be 100 feet long. Um, this is in our front garage and we've got a spigot here that I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to, but we should be able to reach just about everywhere we need to in our front yard with this hose when it's all fully extended. Um, some quick things here, this hose has brass fittings, which I really like. Um, in the package, you get some additional gaskets that will go into this if you need to replace them. But I'm gonna go ahead and attach this here onto our spigot here in our garage. Go ahead and turn this on get some water in there and you'll be able to see as this expands let's go ahead and turn that off which brings me to a good point here the end that does not connect to the water hose or to the water spigot on the wall has a ball valve in it um, so when you turn that on it gets some great coverage there um, some really nice spray with that we also have a pistol grip uh, sprayer that we'll show you in just a second. But you can see as this is going that this is expanding and extending out. Um, and then when you turn off the water, go ahead and do that right now, empty the water out, you'll see it uh, shrink right back up. So I'm draining the water out and you're seeing the hose shrink back up to its original size for easy storage. I'm gonna go ahead and close off that ball valve again and turn on the water. We'll get this expanded out. We'll go ahead and show all the different functions of the 10 function sprayer and how you can use that in your yard or on your car or anywhere else where you might need it. All right, so this is the sprayer that you get with your 100 foot hose. It's got nice bright colors, so it'll be nice and easy to keep track of while you're uh, out in the yard or while you're using it or looking for it in the garage. Um, it has 10 functions, and here's the front of that to show you the formation there. But this outer ring here, the orange ring, just turns and you can set the different settings all the way through, all the way back around. So uh, we'll go ahead and get this on the hose uh, and show what each one of those settings look like and get you going from there. All right, so we have the sprayer installed on the hose um, and we currently have it set to the shower setting, which is really great for watering plants like you see around here. Um, we'll go ahead and show you that. Get that nice one, kind of open the ball out here. You get nice even coverage, a nice good amount of water coming through um, and get that way. So now we'll go to the cone, which will do more of a, a well, like conical shaped spray. So you can see that like that across that way. So this is nice. And then jet obviously would be just that pure long distance. If you needed to get something out in the distance, you can do that. Or you need a higher pressure, uh, higher pressure setting for the hose. The soaker really just has everything coming out all at once. If you needed to get into a flower bed or something like that. So we have a planter right here. And you can see that, that is just flowing freely right out. Uh, you have an angle which gets you kind of a pointed down so you don't have to go too far with it. Then the mist, today it is quite warm. So this would be great for going up and really getting a nice mist and it got all over the camera there. Um, but getting a nice mist to really help cool down. Um, we have a half vertical, which is at a little bit of an angle, but not quite. Um, and then the center, which is also another uh, kind of a um, higher flow spray out of the middle um, and then a full which goes through and does it that way as well and uh, gets a good coverage for that it's almost as close to the uh, close to the jet but it seems like there's not as much of a restriction which lowers the pressure out but you can see that it gets a good uh, distance there and then flat is just a horizontal spray to get more coverage across um, and go that way. And then we are back at shower, which again, is great for getting the plants 
watering some spots of the grass or anything else that you might have. We've got some dead spots out there in the middle of our lawn, so I used the jet um, to kind of get those wet and water on those. So great little uh, sprayer here. And again, with the hose, it's got the ball valve, so you can open it or close it. So we're open now and we're closed. When it's perpendicular to the hose, the valve is closed. So we just release the pressure there. I can take this off. It's nice and comfortable on the hand. It's got some molded rubber on there to make it so that it's a little uh, non-stick. But then we'll go ahead and open up the ball valve and really kind of show you how that sprays out. So you can open it more or less to get it so that it's done. Um, and is either flowing or not. So great hose. And again, it's fully full of water, fully extended out. Um, so we'll go ahead and turn off the water on the house uh, and drain out the water and we'll get it put uh, back away so that it's nice and convenient for storage. One of the other great things uh, with this hose is it also comes with a storage bag. So if you need to take it off the wall in the garage or you need to take it somewhere with you, nice and convenient, everything fits in the bag, including the carrier, uh, the handled carrier. So you can put it anywhere you need it to go, hang up that carrier wherever you are and have your uh, hose nice and convenient and ready to go for you.